Hmm. A scrap of 220. Yeah, there's a scrap of 220 right there. Just something to get a little edge cleaned up on it. Mm -hmm. Okay, nice and smooth. We made a tool. Now, the next thing we got to do, we got to get this tire and get it on here as far as we can and then get it locked on there like this, you know, as far as we can get it on like that. So that's what we got to do next. So, I think I'm going to use zip ties because they seem like it'd work good. I'm going to use some of these pink ones here because they just look sexy. We're going to try it this way, see if it works, folks. This is one of them experimental deals. We're going to go right here, put one of these on here like this. We'll try to get it to grab real tight so it don't want to move once I get it there. Okay, there's one. And we're going to turn this around here. We're going to get this on here as far as we can. Can y'all see what I'm doing up here? Oh, sorry. We got one here. Right there, and this is extra. We're gonna pull it around as far as we can and get it between the wheels, right there like that. We got it down between them. And then we're gonna put another wire tie on it right here. I know y'all going, Spike's crazy. What's he doing next? Well, I gotta get the tire on this band saw. I got it. I'm gonna put that right there. Push it as far as we can around this way. Okay, get it down in the groove, and then we're going to pull this thing tight. Okay, y'all see that? And there we are. We got it on there now, and just on the wheel here, not moving, and we got it right there. So, supposedly, what you're supposed to do is you take one of these, and you take one of these, and you stick it in right here, like this. Okay, let's see like that and then when you turn it you're supposed to let me see okay see if we can get this figured out see if we can get this angle figured out guys okay let's go in here okay get it inside okay there we go now y'all got to see it oh come out again but it's back a lot further than it was it's working okay let's try one more time i'm not holding my mouth right as grandpa used to say on well, something like this that's what he'd tell you when you didn't do it right it wasn't working for you he said, son, you ain't holding your mouth right. Okay, I'm just going to let it run up against that other edge over there. I think that's probably the best thing to do. Up on the other side of the wheel, on the back side. I just got it running against it right now, letting it settle. Oh, okay, let's see what that looks like. Man, that's smooth. That is smooth. Need to pack it down in the crack right there where it's all in, in, the, in the shape. Look at that. A little bit right there. Make sure it's smooth everywhere and push it back toward the back. Because this, this bandsaw blade, a lot of bandsaw blades track on the center of the wheel. This bandsaw blade tracks on the back of the wheel, back here on the back edge. It's completely different. Than every other band saw made pretty much so man that's true that's smooth i can live with that now we got to come down here and do the same on the bottom i did last time so y'all can see this and i could go to the foot to the big camera to do this couldn't I? let me do that might work better let me go uh, how's that now we got it all cleaned off here 
We're going to put this wheel on, and we're going to take this and we're going to lock it with a zip tie, tight as we can. And then we're going to roll this thing on here and get as much of it on the wheel as we can, just like we did last time, as much as we can get on the wheel. That's about half of it, and that's about all we can get. We're going to tie another zip tie on top of this. Make sure it's flat, down in the groove, and then we use that tool, that, uh, that right there, we're going to use that to pull it down into that crack where it stays there. Okay, now, so we in here to here, and we're out from here to here, just like we were last time. Now, we got our drill, and I'm going to take this and this on here again. We're going to take this and stick it in here and down around that corner, okay? I'm going to put it in this hand so I hope y'all can see, and I'm going to be able to turn this wheel with this one. So the idea is you turn this like this, and as you turn, you put pressure on it. Get a grip. Where I can do the pressure. Now we're going to put the blade back in here. And we're going to stick it in here. We're going to take it up over this tire, around this tire, around this tire, get it kind of in the slot where it goes, around where it goes, right there. And once you get that, you start with this. Y'all see this wheel up here? Y'all see it's kind of going up as I go? That's the way it tensions the wheel. It takes it up when you do this. Pushes in here, raises the wheel. You know, I'm starting to get a little fail part. That bearing right there is riding. Moves under here. Not quite there yet. This here's got to go back. We adjusted this out. We got to adjust it back now. Give me the way. What I'm trying to do? You want to see this right here? Let's see the back of this blade and this wheel. I'm trying to get this wheel and this blade. It's very to get ready to touch each other. I don't want them to touch, but I want them to be ready to. So when I put pressure against the blade, it stops the blade from moving. We're going to turn it around a little bit, let it kind of get in place. Not quite touching that one, but we're going to get there. I'm going to go back. Is that right? See, that's catching. Now, under here. Like that. Got it squishing right here. I'm gonna give it just a little deuce of this. Let it soak into it. Then we got one right here. I'm gonna give it a little bit, bit, make it work better. Oh, 
you know, tighten this blade up to get it to the right tension. You all see the, the markings here, it says quarter inch, just a quarter inch blade. So I'm going to turn it to that red, go right inside, right there. And that's your tension. And that should be about right. Come out of there. Now, that should have that ready to go. And uh, we should be able to start it up and test it. I think I might have this wheel a little bit too tight right here. Yeah, we'll break it off. Okay, we'll test it. Y'all ready? Hey, Blackstone! How's everybody? Okay, we're going to test this thing to see if it works now after we've done all this work on it. We got a new blade in it, uh, new, uh, a new bearing in it, and new belts on the new tires on the band side. Let's see if I can get a little electrical cord here without breaking the whole place. We'll do a test to see if it's running okay. We'll see if we can figure out if it's got another one of them skeechy noise in it where it was making speech. Okay, now. I got my shaft. Let me get y'all in a better place. Man, that thing's just got all kinds of junk in my wheel. Okay, I missed it. What kind of picture we got? You're in it. Now give me that. You're in the picture. Okay. This is my my rearrangement I've done here. I'm going to put this one over here. Hook up the shaft on that side. Just in there. Turn it, line them up here, and lock that down. So we want to go that way because we want to run that saw. It's connected up here, and it's ready to go when we put this switch right here. Should be. So we'll see if it runs or if it whatever it's going to do this time. Y'all ready? Go. <laughs>
I'm not so clear, I'm going to go back. It's fixed. It puts cover back on it now. And uh, get it ready to start working on guitar decks. You know, when a mailman comes and brings you parts, you got to fix your stuff. And that's what I had to do. Let me bolt this thing back up. Hey, Mr. Marsh. How you doing, brother? We got it back in there. I put it on. I used a pretty cool little trick. You have to go back and check it out. To put those tires on the band saw, I made me a tool, and then I used it to put it on, and it went, just put it right on there. I was amazed.